uh, you know, out to my, out my, out to my bike myself. But, uh, How was the run up to this fight? Because obviously Darren Till was campaigning for so long to get you into the UFC. Did you feel any pressure or did you enjoy this moment? Um, you know, with so many people knowing your name because of Darren Till. I enjoyed the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, the support's been fantastic from everywhere. Uh, I've not really had anyone say anything bad about me. I've not really had any messages saying any bad. You know, I've not got any haters just yet. Maybe I've got, maybe I'll get some, but you've got to have some haters, haven't you? But I haven't got, I haven't had any, and um, you know, I'm grateful for that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of pressure on. I felt. You've competed all over the world, and you've competed in a variety of disciplines. But the feeling of walking out into the UFC octagon in London on fight night. Is it comparable to any of the other things you've done, or is this going to stay with you? This is the, this is the biggest thing I have done. Well, you know, I've obviously done things that kind of lead up to this to help me get this experience. And obviously, I've walked out into uh, championship fights with Darren Till, and I've always looked at that step and thought, you know, what would I, how would I feel if this was me? When there's fighters around the fans screaming for him and stuff, I felt, how would I feel? And you know what? I felt, I felt like I belong here, and I think I proved I belong here. The performance for sure showed a uh, guy with. Absolutely, go off to Don Jr. Some nerves. You look like you, you look at home in the cage. Is that how it felt? Yeah. Well, I think I've got to be jitters are just a mindset, and I know I've got a strong mindset, so I know I can walk out there and perform. Given that it was your debut, and you know you want to impress, you want to make a statement on your debut. When you rocked Naramani, and one of the things that impressed us in the room when we were watching the fight back was. The fact that you didn't just go crazy and dive straight in when you saw that he was rocked, you sort of kept your distance and picked your shots really well. Talk to us about your mindset when you realised that you had Nag, nag rocked and how you went about sort of actually piecing the strikes together and getting him finished. Yeah, I, I've always, I suppose I've always envisioned it, how would I do, what would I do if um, this was happening. And um, I always knew I'd stay relaxed and stay focused and finish the fight. I know quite a lot of people were uh, said why well, I did not push the tape down. Because I didn't, I didn't even in the first round, it was just towards the end of the set, first round that I pushed the tape down. Um, you know, the truth is, is, is I, I, tore my, I tore my hamstring two weeks ago, I was ready to um, hamstring tear and I was never going to play this fight. So the thing that did my hamstring was, was, a rest, was, when, was when I was wrestling. So after that first tape down, I felt my hamstring. So that's why I probably stuck a little bit more as well. So I was a little bit hesitant when we take down. So I've not even had, to, had the chance to show my true wrestling tonight. I got one take down, but I've not had the chance to show my true wrestling. And there's a lot more to come with that. British wrestling, sorry, British fighters have got a reputation overseas as Brits can't wrestle. You're, you're the sort of shining example. That's why I'm here. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Because I'm going to show that I can wrestle and I can wrestle. And I, I, can, I can compete with these American guys who's at the top. And that's what I want. What would you like? You no, know, I'm gonna. I, I got married a few weeks ago, so I'm gonna go on um, have my honeymoon. Sent my wife on her honeymoon. I think she deserves it. It's been me a long time now, so I'm gonna go and enjoy that. But I'm the kind of guy who's gonna he's gonna have a quick turnaround and I'll have a fight whenever. And um, you know, if the UFC calls, so there's, there's kind of polite in a few weeks. And, oh, the European show walk. I'm ready for it, and that's the way I. Do you have any? Do you have any names in mind? No, no names in mind just yet. I've got to probably um, tally up some wins and then I can maybe start calling these top guys out. But one of my goals is, you know, to get to the top ten as quick as I possibly can. Hopefully this year, early next year, I want to be in the top ten. Well, your teammate there, speaking of, you know, your teammate there has made that run pretty quickly, and you're going to try and kind of follow those, those shoes, get those big fights in quick, so that you're challenging for a title within 12 months. Of course, yeah, yeah. I want to be. Um, I want to be Game to them top guys just because I can. You know, like I said, I'll fight anyone. Being in the UFC is one thing, but I think I feel like you get in the UFC, you've got to be prepared to fight anyone. So they'll tell me to fight, you know, whoever in the next shot I'll fight, you know, and that's the kind of guy I am. Are you going to be in Darren's corner for the main event? I am going to be in Darren's corner later on, so I'm going to go and chill out now. I've got to get in that green room, hope there's some good food in that green room, and then I'll, um, I'll be out with Darren later. Have you, have you met with Darren since your fight? Since my fight, no. He's obviously just going to be. Colin McCall has gone straight back. To him. He's going to come back soon. But I seen him just before my fight. You know, he's in good spirits and he's, he's looking well. I started the show and I feel it was a good performance. He's going to finish it. Right, you come from a very well developed, regulated sport in uh, wrestling. How much further do you think MMA can go in the UK specifically with better regulation and more development? Yeah, I feel it can go a long way. And like, I've got kids at my club. Uh, we were doing MMA, doing wrestling, just doing everything. And they're coming through now from like 10 year olds, so the young age, 
and you know it's going to develop very quick. I think. I think there's some of these young ones that's coming through. It's going to be unreal. So I think yeah, there's, there's a lot of lot of room for improvement. Are there any specifics that you think are required in terms of like government input and government recognition that could help as well? Obviously, you know the real set, especially for younger ones doing it. It's got to be got to monitored. You know, it's got to be body shots and stuff. But yeah, I think a governing body in, in the sport would be nice. Well. Thank you. 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 Thank you.